Okay, I'd like to give you an overview of the new Pro Maps. So what we're looking at here is a, a list of pins that represent records from your file. So we can look at this record, Dennis, and there's a little picture of it. And when I set up Pro Maps, I configured it to pull these fields from my file, and I even included these buttons. So these are scripts in my FileMaker file that I can run. So like this one's just going to go over and view that record. And here we can see you know all that information about the about the property. So Pro Maps lets you both put your pins on the map and then describe this display here. And I'll show you what that's done. Just go over to format the popover. Here's, you just go into layout mode, pick your fields, pick your photo. And then in scripts, you can describe um, where those uh, buttons are and what those buttons are named and what they do. But let's let's play in the map a little bit and show you a few more of the things that can, can happen here. So one of the things you might've noticed is these areas around here. So areas are um, kind of just another way to filter the map. And you can describe the area with a geographic border. So if I uh, switch over here to areas, right, you can see we have a geographic border here. And we have nice instructions about how to get all these. This seems really complicated, but there are actually some tools online you can make these things. Um, so let's play with some more cool stuff here. So there's a, a whole separate video on kind of keeping the list and the map in sync. But one of the things you can do um, with the map is kind of constrain it. Say, I'm just interested in these properties over here in West Seattle. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And when I click find, it's going to find just a small group of properties. And then if I go over to the list view, you'll see that now my found set reflects just those 19 properties that I found. If I come back to constrain, I'm still working over here. And if I go to map, I'll blow that out and be working with my original base set of, I forget how big our sample file is, yeah, 145 records. Um, the other thing that's new is that we can route on the map now. So if I switch to constrain, let's say I'm interested in these records again. And we'll zoom in on them here. Okay, yeah, let's let's build a route around here. So let's click route. Now you can route up to eight waypoints plus your start and end without uh, a free Google API key, um, or you can add um, add an API key and route up to twenty three. So we have eleven here. Do you want to route the first eight? I'll say yeah. I'll route the first eight, and it builds this route and it kind of numbers them for you, which is cool. And then I had entered into settings a starting address uh, in Fremont. So you can see from Fremont, we're going to head down here to number one. That's going to take us uh, eight miles, about 14 minutes. And we can see the rest of our directions down here. And if I want to see this a little bigger, I can just hide the filters and kind of work with my map right here. How long does it get? Yeah, so it's only three minutes from pin number one to pin number two, which is um, pretty cool. So where do you do the start and end instructions? It's over in routing. Here's the start and the end address that could be different. And we can even switch our, our method if we want um, to transit or something else. Um, I think you'll really like this. It's very simple to kind of change the pins, uh, change the colors. These are based on a calculation in your table. So you can decide to color your map um, by status or by type of, a, of, of appointment or whatever you need in order to kind of make decisions about you know, when to schedule things and uh, who to assign them to. Uh, I hope you'll check this out. Thanks.